Travel baseball coach Justin here. How you doing? I am going to give you our season recap for the 2023 season for the Southern Oregon Generals 11U. I have the tournament schedule all truncated and ready to go. So let me share my screen with you. And here is our season from 2023. Our season begins uh, December 1st, 2022, ends November 30, 30th uh, at the um, last tournament in November. Our last tournament was the first weekend of November as Turkey Slam. But here is our tournament for the 2023 season, basically. Started off in Mather, California at the Winter Blast. We ended, that was at the 11U age level. We ended up winning the gold bracket uh, through River City Travel Ball. And just to let you know, we are a travel team, just giving you the round trip miles from Medford to uh, Mather, California, and all the other tournaments right here. I'm not going to read the miles. I'll just let you look at, you know, everything from here over. Um, that was in uh, December of last year. And then we took all of December off. Uh, well, we practiced, excuse me, took two weeks off between Christmas and New Year's. And then we played, we practiced in January, February, and our first tournament was February 18th. Um, through the 20th down in Sparks, Nevada. Um, now, all these that are green right here are away tournaments. The yellow ones are home. So you can see how much we travel. Uh, we ended up getting into the uh, gold bracket and we got third. We ran into um, a really uh, put together Battleborn team. They're kind of our nemesis now because I think we're 0-3 against them. However, uh, this 2024 season, we're going to be playing against them a few more times. So Hopefully we can redeem ourselves. Moving on in March, we went up to Hillsboro and it was also 11U, ended up winning that. Uh, don't really remember the tournament much other than, you know, it was it was fun and got our second win of the season out of two to three tournaments. Uh, then we headed down uh, to Middle California, Ripon, uh, through the TPR Baseball. Uh, tournament organization. Now these tournament organizations, I use nine of them uh, for the generals to get us all over everywhere to get us into different teams. Now I, I gotta say this tournament was stacked with 11U teams, Monterey, California, bunch from the coast, everything. It was a, it was a lot of good teams. Let's put it this way. It was probably the one tournament on the 11U level that was just ridiculous with the amount of uh, good well put together teams hitting defense pitching everything um we had we played both games sunday uh, however sunday or saturday uh, however sunday was canceled due to rain so there was no outcome here uh that was a long long drive for that but it was certainly um uh steel hardening steel in that tournament um moving on our first home uh, tournament was here in Medford at Medford Parks for the Lithia and Driveway Fields that you see on my uh, videos. Uh, you go through Medford Parks to schedule your tournaments there. Now, this was at the 11U level. We ended up taking it for the win. Um, then the two weeks later, we went ended up going down to Redding, California at the 11U level uh, through 643 Athletics. Ended up winning that in a nail biter. I think it was three to two was the the championship game there. And we were back home a couple weeks later in April uh, under the 11U. We ended up getting second, and we lost to uh, the NorCal Nationals. Uh, it was, um, and so that was, that was our first 11U loss at, in all of this, I guess. is the, No, I guess the third, right there. Um, at home, I guess, is what I was gonna, I meant to say. Uh, moving on, we went up to Vancouver, Washington through the Northwest Nations. We ended up winning that one. Um, and actually, I need to talk about this game because the championship game was a wonderful game. Uh, so we had a no-hitter pitched. However, that no-hitter would not have happened without the fantastic defense. There were seven hit hard-hit balls, line drives and deep flies that were all caught. Uh, and the most memorable one I have of was uh, our second baseman, Colt. He ended up diving at a 45-degree angle towards the ball, towards third base, on the, on, in the air, Superman style, catching that ball in mid-air, mid Superman style, and landing. If, that, if he didn't make the quick reaction to that, this no-hitter by Adler would not have happened. Um, so it was, it was very much a defensive no-hitter that 
was uh, generated right there. Our defense was just absolutely stellar in that uh, championship game and that whole weekend for that matter. Um, then we ended up two weeks later going into over to Klamath Falls at the Howard Hill Classic. This was our first 12U tournament of the year at Steam Park. Uh, we ended up getting second. We lost to um, North Medford 12U. Uh, it was, I think it was, a, it was a definitive win. I think we lost by five runs, um, whatever the score was. Moving on, we were back at home in Memorial Day. We ended up getting second to this one. We fell to the Riverhawks um, up there, eleven U, and this was a pitching battle: Easton Minica versus uh, Wade Malatori. And Easton had pitched on Saturday um, an inning, and uh, well, excuse me, I think no, he had pitched. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, no, it was an inning, so he he still had six. To go on on Sunday, so he pitched one inning on Saturday, and it was it was one to one going through the bottom of the fifth, and our pitching coach and Antonio thought it'd be let's let's be safe and pull Easton, and they ended up pitching Wade the next inning, um, which uh, or excuse me, uh, which uh, we subbed Easton because we were um, the home team, and so we pitched our sub. They ended up getting uh, six runs on us, so it was seven to one. And then uh, Wade was still in there, uh, dominating as he did, but we ended up getting um, four runs off of him in the bottom of the sixth inning to lose. I think it was seven to five. So our bats stepped up, um, even though uh, we were down by six runs in the bottom. So I, I love the way the boys pulled through that game. Um, but it was just – it was a wonderful pitching duel between um, Easton and Wade. It was awesome to watch. We got second in that one. Moving on with release of Kraken, Newport, 11U, got that gold bracket win. Love Newport, Oregon. Uh, the ball field's out looking over the ocean as you're playing ball. Uh, the wind was perfect. The temperature was perfect in, at this time in June. Uh, that was a Northwest Nations tournament. Then we're back at it a week later. We were up in uh, Eugene and at the Super Slugfest. Ended up winning that. Again, Northwest Nations. Moving into July, we were home at 12U. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we got, we got to the gold bracket. We ended up losing and, and, uh, we lost to the Riverhawks 12 U team and they had this pitcher named Christian Corba who just blew 66 and he was topping out at 70, 71. There's some balls that I knew none of my kids could hit that he could throw, that he was throwing. And I'd probably say about three to five were probably topping 70, 71. So it wasn't like the whole game. He was blasting that speed. But there are a couple fastballs that were like, whew, you, you just saw the difference. And so I think the score on that one, we lost nine to five. So we put up runs. So it wasn't as if it was just a complete domineering uh, by Christian, but he he stuffed us. Um, moving on, let's see here. Northwest season finale up in Portland was a goal bracket win with West Coast Premier, 11U. Um, I think it was a 13 nothing win over, um, I forget the team. But I knew we were going to dominate that after watching the whole, the whole whatever. And then, you know, the previous week we were playing 12U. And then we come up to 11U tournament and you're, you're just looking at everybody warming up and you're like, wow. The 12U tournament was a lot stronger than the 11U tournament. So I think our boys uh, had that sense of confidence like, oh, we got second in the 12U. These guys, you know, and so I think they carried that confidence through that tournament. Um, the defense was really great that tournament as well. And then we do the Summer Smackdown. This was another 12U tournament. Northwest Nations up in Milwaukee. We ended up getting third. Um, let's see here. We were either first or second. No, we were first. We were first in um, the Sunday bracket after Saturday pool play. And then, um, is that right? I think we were. This is why we were, this is why we were third is that we ended up losing no nope, that's wrong we were not we, we were I think we were third going into the the gold bracket we replaced third because we were one and one that's right because we lost to the squad 12u the squad 12u is a dominating 12u team um, I can't remember the it was yeah they beat us 11 to one in five innings uh, so they were their bats were real good um, but we, were, we ended up being third by going one and one. And then we ended up losing to LC closers 
who's another 12U dominating team, just like the generals are dominating at the 11U. And so it was like running into two 12U general teams that were just hitting and and fielding uh, were real complete. So it was really nice to play those two teams. Can't wait to play them, not this year, because they're going to be at 13U larger bases. But when we get to 13U, maybe we'll play up at a couple 14U uh, tournaments to go up against those guys after we've gotten uh, – used to the larger bases. Okay, now moving down. Summer Throwdown in Eugene, now, uh, 11U again, coming back from, you know, playing at 12U, going back down to 11U, it just makes the 11U that much easier. We ended up uh, winning that one, again, Northwest Nations. Then our next tournament, was, two weeks later, was our first perfect game. That was at Everett, Washington. Uh, it's 11U. If you're going to look this one up, it'll be, per it'll be listed under perfect game, Everett, Washington, but it'll be 12U. The reason why I put 11U down here is because we were playing our same age kids. And so I didn't want to give the impression that we were playing up in a 12U perfect game and we were still 11U. That's not right. Uh, all the teams that were playing um, in the 12U division, which is, was us, were all the same uh, graduation year, per, per se. We all graduated in 2030. So we were playing same age level. So I left this at 12U, even though on perfect game, it, or it's under 12U. It was all 11 U same age teams. Um, we got second in that. We beat the team um, who beat us in the gold bracket championship on Saturday. We beat them 14 to six, and then they beat us in the gold bracket championship. With when we launched a bunch of, we I think we had three or four home runs in that game. And then the gold bracket championship was the exact opposite. They beat us 14 to five, and they had like four or five home runs on their side where we didn't have any home runs. So. It was a home run fest because the fields are at uh, in perfect game at Phil Johnson uh, fields are set at 200 feet. And so there was a lot of home runs hit that weekend. Uh, moving on to a, a home, our last three uh, tournaments were home, all 12 of you here. The fall classic in December, gold bracket win. Um, we ended up beating the PT Bucks in the championship. Uh, that was awesome. It was our first, first and only uh, 12 of you gold bracket win that we got this year. Then uh, the Summer Sizzler, this, why it's called Summer Sizzler, it actually happened um, up here in between these two months, but there was smoke, so they moved it down to um, uh, October here. We ended up getting second place in the gold bracket. We lost to, um, I, think it, I think it was the Giants. Let me look here. September, October. Who did we lose to? Yep, we lost to the Redwood Giants, uh, four to three in the championship, got second. Um, and then our last tournament was Turkey Slam. We got third. We were the uh, number one seed in that uh, champion in that gold bracket. We lost to the Redwood Giants again. I think it was um, five to four this time. And we got third. So with that all being said, we total travel miles, 6,492 for the year. This is round trip, of course, going there and coming back, okay? Um, here's how the 20 tournaments were. Uh, we did 20 tournaments this year. 11U, we did 14. 12U, we did six. And let's, gold bracket wins under 11U was nine. Uh, gold bracket second places under 11U tournaments were three, and gold bracket thirds were one. And then at the 12U level, we got one gold bracket win, uh, three second place, and two thirds. Uh, we were in the gold bracket in every tournament we were in. Um, and then one cancellation under the 11U. Here's our win losses. Uh, this year we were 62, 15, and one. I broke out the losses by 11U versus 12U. We had nine 11U losses and then six 12U losses. And then, like I said, we used nine tournament organizations. Uh, home tourneys were seven, away tourneys are 13. Again, we're a travel ball. We want to get away from the same teams. We don't want to keep playing the same teams and beating them up all the time. So we, we travel. Now, this is, uh, oop, yeah, I'll scratch that out. Um, our 2024 Southern Oregon Generals 12U, um, 3,000 is the fee for the year. Now, that was the same fee for last year. Uh, we're going to have 20 to 25 tournaments this year. We do three practices per week, 48 weeks. Everyone, in our hit, everyone hits in our lineup every game. We don't go down. We've never gone down to a nine-man hitting rotation, even if it's a gold bracket championship. I'll give you an example. We pulled Easton out because we were concerned of his arm in the gold bracket championship when him and Wade were going back and forth. He had another another inning, but we thought we, we're developing these players. We're not trying to rack up 
you know, go bracket championships. It's just what happens. And I'm giving you that as an example that we'll pull our best pitcher if we have to for arm safety. So he got up to, I think it was like 90 pitches in that game. And we're like, you're done. So I know other teams, especially here in Medford, they'll go to 145, 160, absolutely ridiculous. Um, but, you know, their choice uh, as well. All right, but back here to everyone hits in, in the lineup every game. We do not do a nine-man um, team. Now, I know at 14 unit above, they, they force that, but they, that's how we play so far. Two sets of uniforms, sweatshirts, all the swag and everything like that, um, et cetera. Coaches are not paid. So if you're like, how can you do it for 3,000 a year, 20 to 25 tournaments, this many practices, this is why, okay? We're a development team, no pickups. What does that mean is that we play with the players that we have all season long. Does that mean we don't pick up a player if we're short? We always roll with a minimum 11. We have 12 kids on the team, but we will always roll with a minimum 11 players. If we have three kids out, or yeah, one, two, no, excuse me. If we have two kids out for a tournament and we have 10, we will pick up a, an 11th player of our choosing. So what I'm saying is that we, we're not a, we don't pick up uh, ringers to win championships, okay? So um, there are a lot of teams that do that. We don't. We're a development team, and we practice, and we practice, as you can tell. We practice, we play, we practice, we play. And I'll tell you what, I don't know any other team that gets a bigger bang for the buck than that right there. $3,000 to be year-round, four weeks off. I mean, that's who we are. If you're interested, whatever. We got 12 players right now, so we're a full stack team for 2024. Um, our, we are uh, notable tournaments this year. We're going down to spring training in Arizona, and we're doing the six-game guarantee down there through March, you know, like 21st through the 26th. And so that's going to be fun. Um, our season starts off at the end of February, the last weekend of February, first weekend of March. Uh, so end of February will be uh, in Modesto, California. Uh, then we're back, then we're up in Portland, uh, Portland, uh, the next week, and then we're at home week three. So we got back to back to back tournaments, um, to start off the season. And that is the uh, wrap up for the 2023 Southern Oregon generals, uh, 12 U let's see here. Stop sharing that there. So if you want to, if you're interested, you can get on to you already on my TikToks and that kind of stuff. Um, I'll see you next year. Take care. Travel Baseball Coach Justin. Have a good one. Bye-bye.